just like me, this island style workbench is cheap and easy. Hi, I'm Warren from Onewood and uh, today we're going to be making this nice cheap and easy island style workbench. Uh, this probably cost a little bit over $100 in materials um, and you can knock it out in a weekend. Um, the joinery is nice and simple so you know, most, a lot of the time your first project when you're a woodworker is a workbench. Um, you might not need something as big as this, probably a half the size of this would do the job for most people. This thing's got a fair amount of weight on it because it's pretty big. Uh, so let's hook into it. First thing we need to do is cut eight legs, 800 millimeters long. Uh, I've set up my stock block so each cut will be exactly the same. I don't have to worry about measuring each one. For the joinery I'm going to be using uh, a Craig uh, HD pocket hole jig. Uh, this one's designed for using on uh, larger lumber rather than the uh, smaller uh, pocket hole jigs they make. Uh, it's a pretty simple thing, you just clamp it on. Clamp it on like so. And we're done. Two holes, then we just get another little screw, drive it in like that, and uh, all done. And to secure the, the top to the, um, to the frame, I'm going to use pocket holes using the normal Craig pocket hole jig. Uh, so we'll just put a few holes in along these pieces here. Next we're going to use the table saw to cut some uh, slots in the, in the timbers for our little dividing wall. Uh, the ends, we're going to cut towards the end, so if I want to clamp, I've got a little bit of real estate. Uh, for the centre dividers, we will uh, just cut down the middle. So, just adjust this. Now, in case I'm not exactly in the middle, uh, what we're going to do is just going to put a little cross on the side that goes against the fence. So if I'm a little bit out, at least we'll be a little bit out all in one direction. Now we're ready to start assembly. Um, because we've used pocket holes, this will come together really, really quickly. Um, if you haven't used a Craig pocket hole jig before, they're highly recommended. Um, so all we need to do that, you can see we've got our holes here. Uh, we just need this little clamp here. Clamp it together. Grab a screw. And that's it, and that's all we have to do, and that's that's a really strong joint that will last quite well. Now, who spotted what I did wrong there? Can you see it? Have a look, can you see it? Let me show you. I let the good rug get in the shot with my wood on it so I don't scratch my wood. Dead man walking when the boss sees that. Just for this workbench that I'm building, I just had trouble getting the legs perfectly square. So what I did is I got a whopping big hunk of triangle, and I drilled a few holes in it and cut some notches in it. And 
and um, it's been able to hold things perfectly square for me. So all we do is just sit the leg where we want it, line it up, then just grab these little uh, fence clamps. And just go straight in the hole. Screw it in. And that's perfectly square uh, in this plane as well as this plane. Um, because it's nice and thick, it just sits there. It doesn't wobble or anything like that. So it's nice and easy to set up. Um, I think I'll be using it for quite a bit. Uh, and then I also cut a couple of notches so um, I can also, you know, clamp it for some extra support or you know, if I've got to inset it, it's a little bit more reach. Um, then we can just reach around the back. Knock it in and it's done. What can we call it? It needs a name. Maybe the ultimate triangle of squareness. I'm just going to add some soft feet so we can uh, slide it around on the floor. Uh, they're just like a nylon thing so it makes it easier. So we just need a T-nut. And that's it. So I've made uh, two boxes here. So um, with larger projects it's normally easier to do them in like a modular design. So if you even look at your like, kitchen cupboards and big things like that. Um, they're, they're just a series of little boxes and you put them all together. So all we've done, we've got two boxes and we'll just put these in and uh, then screw the top on and we'll be done in about 10 minutes. You don't have to use pocket holes to build this bench. Um, you can just use uh, simple joinery like I've done with this bench here. Uh, I built this years ago and it's still going really strong. It's never moved and I don't think it ever will. Uh, all you do is just have your upright, place your rail across there, uh, four screws, just uh, drill and then screw it so the wood doesn't split. And then for your side pieces, just place that along there. Same again, four screws and you can see that you've secured it in lots of different spots and that will never move. Okay, the next thing is um, I've drawn a, a grid over the whole table which is 150 millimeter spacings. Um, you can do whatever you want, this is what I like. Uh, and that we're going to drill some 19 millimeter holes for the uh, dog holes. So we can push devices like this in, clamp various things to the surface of the table, and it makes your life very easy. that expression, a good lure catches more fishermen than fish. Well, for woodworkers, it's these things. Router bits. I have more router bits than I know what to do with, but um, when, when you're first starting out, you don't need too many. Um, I think these three bits will get you through most of whatever you need to do, and I probably they probably still do 80% of what I do. Uh, the first one is a um, flush trim bit, which you can use which has a little ball bearing there, and this ball bearing will ride along the, uh, a pattern or the edge of a workbench and just trim it flush with anything. So it's good if you're making patterns or stuff like that. The next one is a chamfer bit, uh, which will just uh, put a 45 degree chamfer around your edge. And that's all you need for that one. 
and then a roundover bit, which was same sort of thing. It will just put a roundover edge uh, across your workbench or whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to use this to soften the edge of the workbench. Thanks for watching and I hope we've done enough to earn your subscription. Uh, so please subscribe to the links below. We've also got free plans in uh, SketchUp form. You can download, uh, I'll put a link to that at the bottom of this page as well. And uh, if you want to learn more about SketchUp, a great place to go is Jay's Custom Creations. Check out his YouTube channel, he's got some good stuff, lots to learn there. And um, for those of you who don't know us, uh, onewood.com.au is the Australian New Zealand distributor for uh, micro jigs. So we've got marvellous micro dials, great grippers, magnificent MJ splitters, and I don't know, something that rhymes with zero play that's really good. Um, so you can go to onewood.com.au if you'd like to purchase anything there, we'd love that. Um, so stay tuned, uh, please subscribe, and um, we've got some more projects coming up. Thank you.